Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dan Holzman with the Video Game Music Academy. I wanted to take a few minutes here to show you how easy it can be to set up a website if you don't have one already for your composition work. You can do it in under five minutes, so I'm going to not waste any time and just try to get right into it. So if you start by going to videogamemusicacademy.com, you can click on this resources link here. It'll take you to a page. You want to look for this link here, Bluehost. This is an affiliate link, but uh, if you click on it, it'll take you over to bluehost.com. This is a web host. You can get started now. Choose the starter selection. It's plenty of for uh, the freelance composer, for sure. And then you want to put in your uh, your desired URL. Awesome. Videogamemusic.com. Let's see if that's available. And it is. You'll get to this sign up page here. Uh, fill in your information. Go down here. This is, uh, you're just choosing your rates by locking into either paying for a year up front, two years up front, or three years up front, or uh, these other two, which you don't need. I, uh, you know, I personally always go with the two year, but it's up to you, but you will get billed annually, so just keep that in mind. You will get billed the, for the entire year up front. Uh, so this you can ignore, this you can ignore, this you can ignore, this you can ignore. Um, this one right here, it's kind of up to you. What this means is that whenever someone buys a web address for the uh, the first time, uh, it is technically a public record. So people can look up who the owner of the uh, the domain or the URL is, and they'll be able to find your email address as well. So uh, you know, when I don't use this, I've got a, I own a few different URLs, and whenever I don't buy this, I get some spam uh, emails asking me if they, you know, if I want someone to design my website for them, you know, whatever. So uh, if that bugs you or if you want to be completely private you can go and check this otherwise you can uncheck it fill out your uh, payment information here click next now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually log into my own account because I have a uh, I've got a web address that I already purchased that I'm going to use no need to waste any money here I'm spell correctly though Okay, so once you're done completing your purchase, you will be logged into your account. You want to click this button right here, install WordPress. You'll be taken over to a partner website to bluehost.com. It'll look like this. You will click install. Now for me, I have a few different web addresses, but you just, just have one choice here, so check your Click the check button to just have the website double check that WordPress is ready to be installed. You can uh, click this show advanced. You can say, you know, my awesome site, hooray. You can choose an admin. You can choose a password. Looks like they already did that for me. And click this, click install now. And then the next thing is you, they'll start to show us a progress bar up here at the top, as well as uh, probably an ad. Yep, so you can go ahead and ignore this ad for right now. You get the progress bar. Now, while the progress bar is running, uh, WordPress is basically a back end uh, so that it's just really easy to create content for your website and change the look and feel of your website by installing themes. So they're trying to sell you different premium themes here. But we're going to just use one of the free themes that comes with WordPress. There are a lot of free free themes available on the internet. Personally, I use premium themes because uh, I really like uh, you know some of the features involved. But so once you see this, your install is complete. You can go ahead and get rid of that. Click My Installs. Scroll. You should only have one thing, but I've got a few different sites. So find your website address. Click Admin Login. and use the password that you created to log in. Great, so right now your website is gonna be displaying a coming soon as it uh, indicates here. 
But uh, what you can do is, so uh, like I said, every every WordPress site is going to be using a theme to determine kind of what it looks and feels like. But your website's going to already have a default theme installed on it. This one, 2015. Uh, you can customize, you can click this button to customize the, uh, the colors and the fonts that it uses and things like that. Uh, you can find this over here, appearance and themes. Um, but for right now, you can go to your dashboard where you started. You can click here to launch your site, and then you can click here to view your site. Hello, my awesome website, cool. And then all you need to do in order to add pages or to add posts is I'm gonna go back to this tab over here. This is my dashboard, and I can add a new post, which will uh, add a blog post to my main page here, or I can add a new page, which will add a web page that'll go into the navigation. Um, so that's the nuts and bolts of just getting your website up and running. It's not hard at all, and I hope this helps. Now, uh, one thing I did want to uh, quickly mention was that uh, if you do decide to go the premium route uh, and, and find another theme that you like, all you have to do is go into Appearance, Themes here, and add a new theme. Do a quick search. You can find themes in the WordPress Marketplace here, or you can upload a theme. So if you buy it from Elegant Themes, for example, which is the um, the the vendor that I recommend over on the resources page. I love these guys. If you buy a, one of their themes, you would get a zip file from them and you upload the zip file and then your theme would appear as one of the options on this theme screen that we were just at a second ago. And then it would have an activate button just like this. You would activate that new theme. And just like that, if I go right over and refresh the website, ta-da! Brand new look and feel. So that's it. So uh, if you don't have a website already, go ahead and uh, get on that. It's it's really easy, and and any composer should uh, should probably have one. Uh, a SoundCloud or a Bandcamp page by itself, in my opinion, is just not enough. Uh, you really need to have control over your website and what's going on there. So there it is. If you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you do decide to start your own website and you found this video useful, it would be awesome if you could use the links over on the resources page of videogamemusicacademy.com. That's videogamemusicacademy.com slash resources. When you use those links, it gives our website a small commission um, at no additional cost to you, so it helps uh, support the VGM Academy and keeps it up and running. Uh, but uh, you know, only if you find the video here useful, um, these products I only recommend products that I've personally used and find to be high quality. So if, if uh, you want to use another web host, by all means, go ahead and do that. Uh, the process is pretty pretty much the same for other web hosts as well, but the interface will look a little different. Um, but if you found this useful and you want to get started with Bluehost or Elegant Themes today, then use those links and support VGM Academy, and I would greatly appreciate it.